The history of Earth is filled with monsters, but never two quite like this. Mosasaurus, the marine reptile terror of the Cretaceous seas. Megalodon, the shark that reigned tens of millions of years later. In reality, they were separated by over forty million years. But if time bent, and these apex predators found themselves in the same ocean, the result would be a showdown so violent it would rewrite the history of the seas. The Reptilian Torpedo The Mosasaurus was no ordinary predator. It was the ocean's answer to the T-Rex. Over fifty feet long, its streamlined body and powerful flippers turned it into a living missile. Its tail, shaped like a giant scythe, could whip it forward in explosive bursts, perfect for ambush strikes. Its double-hinged jaws, lined with dagger-like teeth, could rip through the hardest armor of prey. This wasn't a hunter that chased. This was a killer that appeared from nowhere, striking before you even knew it was there. The shark that ate whales. If Mosasaurus was the blade, Megalodon was the hammer. Stretching up to sixty feet long, weighing more than sixty tons, this shark could bite through a car in seconds. Its prey? Whales, seals, giant fish, anything in the ocean. Megalodon didn't rely on speed, it relied on raw, crushing force. It stalked the deep, circling silently, waiting for the perfect angle to strike. When it attacked, it hit like a submarine crash, one bite to the spine or fins, disabling prey instantly. Where they ruled. The ocean is not one uniform battlefield. Mosasaurus thrived in shallow, coastal waters where agility and ambush meant everything. It could weave between rocks, hunt near reefs, and corner prey against the surface. Megalodon ruled the open, deep oceans, using patience and sheer power to dominate. If they met in the shallows, Mosasaurus would have the upper hand. In the deep, the Megalodon would reign supreme. The First Clash Picture this, a sunlit sea, a Mosasaurus lurking just below the surface. From the depths, a shadow rises, larger than anything it has ever seen. The first move belongs to Mosasaurus. It darts in, jaws snapping, tearing into the shark's flank. Blood clouds the water. But Megalodon doesn't panic. It turns, slow but unstoppable, and bites for the tail. If it lands that bite, the Mosasaurus can't swim. And in the ocean, a predator that can't swim is already dead. Strength versus Agility This fight wouldn't be a test of who could bite harder. Both could kill with one attack. It would be about who made the first fatal move. Mosasaurus could twist, roll, and target Megalodon's gills or soft belly. Once it locked on, its crocodile-like death roll could tear flesh from bone. Megalodon, on the other hand, had the endurance to outlast and the strength to finish with a single bite, no matter where it landed. The Verdict In tight waters filled with rocks and cover, Mosasaurus could use its speed and ambush skills to win most battles. In the deep, open ocean, Megalodon's sheer size, bite force, and stamina would make it nearly unbeatable. The truth? They were both kings of their time, and in their own territories, both were untouchable. But had they met, only one would leave the water alive. And the ocean would carry the blood-red memory of that battle for millions of years. Who would have survived if Mosasaurus and Megalodon met? Comment below.